Hello, everybody, and welcome to the end of Spec Fair. And it has been quite a day. I'm sitting over here with Chupacabra. Hi, Chupi. Um, we have had, well, my poor Frankenstein computer has just had it. I kept telling my computer, if you can just make it till Spec Fair, if you can just make it till Spec Fair. Um, but I think my computer thought I meant this morning, like the beginning of Spec Fair, not the end of Spec Fair. But we've made it. Um, I'm on my phone right now because my computer has crapped itself. But it's held on just long enough for me to be able to finish this last thing. And it is a screening of, whoops, tarantulas. This cover here is from, who made this book? Oh, this is from Nightmare Press. And I've got my short story tarantulas in here in retro horror. And I was so proud because they chose the tarantulas to put on the front cover. And tarantulas, of course, is a creature that I made up. It is the cross between a piranha and a tarantula. And it comes from a conversation that I had with my husband, Ryan Ozzy Smith. It's really hard to keep it in the camera. Uh, one morning we were having coffee and I said, uh, I don't know, we were just talking about what are the most horrible things that you can think of? You know, like what are the horrible crosses? And I said, a spider and a piranha. I think because piranhas can't get out of the water to get you. Um, and, you know, tarantulas are generally thought of as creepy. So tarantulas. So after that, I wrote a short story about it. And some friends and I, Lauren Boyer and Cynthia and uh, Marnie Pritt, like a ton of people and Rob and at, at Cafe Bienville um, in Niceville, Florida, and we made a movie called Parantulas. And at the time, I was the director and I thought I did a terrible job. But after a few years, it's kind of grown on me and I think, you know, yeah, so I'm not a director. All right, we'll say that, I'm not a director. But it was a lot of fun making that in retrospect. So we have changed the music because there was an issue with like one part of the music, um, uh, Facebook or YouTube had, an issue as they sometimes do. So I fixed that or my husband Ryan Ozzy Smith has fixed that because I don't do that stuff um, and ready to release the new which looks pretty much like the old Parantulas. And again you can read the story Parantulas in Retro Horror which is on Amazon and I will actually put the link in there. Um, it's from Nightmare Press. And thank you, Nightmare Press. I was so stoked to see my little prantula on the cover. And we'll say goodbye to Choopy. Goodbye, Choopy. I have to admit, it is kind of cool to be doing this on my phone because I'm, like, way more mobile. Um, but without that, further ado, at the end of a long and very technically exciting day, I will give you prantulas. I'm going to go hang out in the Pragley Lounge for a little while after uh, Spec Fair is over. If you want to join me, you can join me there. The link is at specfair.com. Just look for lounge and go into the Pragley Lounge. And, uh, yeah, other than that, enjoy Parantulas, and I will see you next month on November 8th. I had to think of what month next month was. But, yes, November 8th, and the following uh, eighth of all the eighths, all the eighths will be spec fair. And, um, uh, yeah. And don't forget to go to ironwriters.com and enter your flash fiction competition and good day. No man has the right to play God, not even the brilliant Dr. Brogan, despite the fact that his adoring students are certain he is omnipotent. What begins as an act of scientific whimsy to celebrate Halloween with three of his favorite minions has triggered events that ring the death knell for one small town and could threaten the very existence of mankind.
How's everything going in there? Do you feel better? You look like you're feeling kind of crappy. Huh? Yeah, I wonder if you should uh, call out or something.
And with that, we end spec fair for October, our very first spec fair. Um, on the whole, in spite of all of the crazy tech difficulties I had from my computer, I think it's a success and I'm really happy with it. And thank you for being here. And I will see you, like I said, November 8th. We'll do this all over again. But with uh, less of a Frankenstein computer. We're done with that. Thank you. And goodbye till next month.